with www.lawmanguitars.com. Hey, I've got another really, really special Gibson guitar for you. As you guys know, uh, if you've watched any of my demos, you know I look for Gibson guitars a lot. It's hard for me to say no to Gibson guitars, especially old Gibson guitars like this one. What we have for you today is a 1964 Gibson Melody Maker D. Now, what the D stands for is dual pickup. So uh, these came in single pickups, they came in double pickups, they came in short scales, and they came in regular scales. This is not one of the short scales. Now a lot of the, the ones, the melody makers you've seen, and we've had them ourselves, have been in the short scales. And those are fun and great guitars, but they're not like these. These are the regular 24 and a half inch scale necks, which uh, everybody loves to have. And uh, there's just not a whole lot I can say about this guitar. It's absolutely fabulous. Now, it has been played. I will tell you that. It's been around. It was a part of a collection here in Iowa. I was uh, able to get a hold of it and was happy to get a hold of it. And uh, it's been around. Uh, but uh, Brian was just remarking on all the alligatoring finish crazing that's on this guitar. It just, it's marvelous. I mean, when you see a guitar like this, especially with the yellow, and you can really identify uh, the finish crazing, it just, it drives me crazy. I just love it. Um, and uh, it has it here. It has it uh, also on the black, which is not as uh, easy to identify, uh, but it's definitely there. And uh, the back, it's really hard to identify on, on the brown, but uh, it's also there as well. We identified it uh, by the serial number on uh, on the back of the headstock. Uh, it's got a uh, single line uh, Cluson tuners on it, uh, so we know that uh, that helps us identify it as well. Um, there's not a whole lot to say. I mean, it's got it's original through and through. There was only one thing that we had to fix. Uh, Jeff the Tech uh, was uh, uh, really good about uh, uh, fixing this. There was a little break in the uh, uh, pickguard right here. and There's actually a little washer on there holding it all together. Jeff took that off and cleaned all that up and fixed that little break. So you can see it was banged right in here, which probably is why it, it uh, broke the pickguard. But he fixed that. It looks very, very nice. Uh, but want to point that out. That's the only thing I could really point out as a malady on this guitar. Uh, original knobs, original pickup covers, original pickups. Uh, it's got the uh, bridge which uh, with the uh, 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 um, uh, bolts in here which help you align your intonation. And uh, original nut and the frets, you know, for you know a guitar that's from 1964 uh, doesn't doesn't appear that they have been replaced. It's always hard to tell. A lot of guys are so good at it, it's hard to tell if they've been replaced or not. But I'm going to call these original frets on here. Um, you know, it's just, it just gorgeous. Just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous guitar. And I love how these things sound. The, the single coil pickups, uh, they're in the neck position, which, you know, in, in the single uh, pickup models, you only get the back pickup. I like the front pickup in these because you can really... <laughs> They can kind of sound P90-ish. I think they sound pretty darn good in that neck position. Very throaty, very throaty between the two pickups. A lot of times in the middle position, you'll just get more, it'll just sound more pronounced with that back pickup. 
this truly blends them together nicely. It gives you a really distinctive sound. <laughs> on here. What do you say about a 1964 Gibson Melody Maker? I mean, it just, it's a fabulous guitar. It plays like a million bucks. It sounds like a million bucks. If you've been looking for an older Gibson Melody Maker with the standard scale neck as opposed to the short scale, I'm surprised this one is still in the shop. I mean, it's just a great, great guitar and someone is absolutely going to love it. Now, when we got it, uh, we did not have an original case with it, however, Lawman has some cases around, as you probably already have figured out, and I've been saving this case for a guitar, a special one just like that. This would be what uh, you would get uh, originally with a Melody Maker. They typically did not sell them with hard shell cases. They came with a chipboard case, and we happen to have this one, and I was happy that I did because uh, it looks great in here. Uh, it's a beautiful case. Uh, you know, we had to uh, tighten up a few places. The accessory box lid is missing, of course, but it's really in beautiful, beautiful shape. Uh, the brown uh, identifies it as, as the uh, Gibson case. All the latches are on it. Uh, all the hinges are on it, including the middle leather uh, hinge, which is usually missing. And it even has the original handle. So, um, you know, I love pairing these uh, guitars up with cases, as you all know. And when we get original case, uh, we point that out. When we don't, we'll point that out too. But we try to have an original case uh, for just about every guitar we can think of that we might be buying. And uh, we're usually able to pair them up. This one is no exception. Gorgeous, gorgeous case. If you had to go out and try to find this case on Reverb or eBay, you would pay easily three to four or five, even $500 for a case like this. So you're getting the case already found by Lawman for you for your cool 1964 Gibson Melody Maker D uh, in fabulous shape with all kinds of finish crazing. It looks fantastic. So check it and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. And while you're here in our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. You know, if you hit that subscribe button, you don't have to look for me next month. You'll know exactly when I have more demos they'll show up in your inbox so be part of our club we got 6200 subscribers now why don't you be part of our club we'd love to get 10,000 boy could we get to 10,000 this year I think we could so hey tell all your friends all your guitar buddies you need to check out this lawman guitars he's kind of a nut you know lawman Mike but uh, he does have some cool guitars and this month is no exception we have really cool guitars for you check them all out at www.lawmanguitars.com I really appreciate you watching my demos and all your support Thank you.